Okay. He missed, right? Yes. Zero and twenty. Two and seventeen. You'll do twenty-two with your special weapon. <sighs> Considering you're like Erica. What? Okay, I was about to say, fuck off if he just would not take damage. <laughs> oh my god. when they're both on the field. I can't believe they're actually reunited. I knew it happened. I just lost hope that it would happen this soon. <laughs> Tell my friends, do you know of Orson's treachery against you and Oliver Ness? Uh, yes. So I learned of it too late after we were all trapped in Renval. I still find it difficult to believe that after all his years of service to Renes, I am morally responsible for his plight. <gasps> I know her! She's one of my favorite! It's Mirth! She's my one of my favorites. Mostly in Heroes, but still one of my favorites. <gasps> Warn everyone of the danger. I think I mentioned she has purple hair, indigo hair rather, but I'm pretty sure she also has the wings. If here is anything to go by, what is it, Erica? I was thinking about Leon. Last time you saw him was a year and a half ago. You're right, I was at Grand Grotto Keep. Has it really only been a year and a half? I from Leon. Are you two? We're over here. You better be quick. Ephraim saying he's tired of waiting. Oh, please, ease, I'm sure. We're gonna wait a few minutes longer. You're late. How does it take, take you so long to prepare for such a simple trip? Rest easy, Ephraim. There's no need to be so curt with your own sister. After all, you must learn to treat women with honor and discretion. Thank you, Leon. Leon. Leon, unlike my dear brother, are you... Uh, you, unlike my dear brother, are a true gentleman. I was up far too late thinking about my prayer to the temple flame. You must think. I'm afraid I overslept. Your prayer? What are you babbling about? Come now, you know the flame has been burning since the time when the darkness ended. You must know the story that the flame will answer the prayers of any pilgrim. Really? I didn't know that. Oh, Ephraim. Father Matt Graver. I was going to scold you for neglecting your studies, so. Don't even joke about that. So tell us, what have you decided right, to pray for, Erica? I, uh. It's a secret. I should have known. You're so boring. Oh my god, they. They have my siblings. What about you, Ephraim? Me? Let's see. I guess I'll pray to become I'm a stronger fighter. That's just like you, Ephraim. Just like you indeed, brother. I can never tell if you're complimenting me or mocking me. Praising you, of course, right, Erica? 
that's right. And you, Leon, what was it you were for? What, me? Hmm. I suppose all I really want is for all our people to be happy. That's very, um... That's very much like you. Very much so, Leon. Now, I'm the one who can't tell if he's being praised or you're being praised as always, Leon. Tell me, why does such doesn't yeah. Why the sudden decision to visit the temple? Did my brother do something again? Now listen, you. Oh no, it's not what Ephraim has done. It's what he hasn't done. He's learned nothing at all about the sacred stones and the temple flame. So, Father Matt Gregor became angry. He said, one destined to become king and rule over a nation must know the history of his kingdom and must respect the sacred stones. Ever since I came to Grotto, my life has been in chastisement and... castigation. Father McGregor does not think he can be at all the other too kingly. And yet, General Dussel has nothing but praise for you, Ephraim. He says you're brave and true, Ooh, that you've made you the makings of a great king. A great king? I honestly have no idea what that means. Erica should succeed the throne. I would be happy taking my lance and traveling the land as a mercenary. Ephraim, that is nothing but foolish, irresponsible romanticism. You do realize how much your words would fill father's heart with grief. Are we speaking of the same man? Our father will likely outlive us all. For now, I am content just learning the lance from General Dussel. What about only you, Leon? Is there anything you want to do? Me? Well, I, I suppose I want to become like my father. You were born to be the Emperor of Grotto, Leon. It suits you. No, I don't think so. I'm not. One thing I do know from watching my father is that being Emperor is hard. Every day he answers the complaints of people, and he almost never sleeps. My father is always very, so very tired. I hope, hope one day that I hope Oop, that I can help him. Leon, you are so honorable. You should learn from him, brother. Again with your criticism. Tell me, Erica, what say you to dressing like me and becoming king in my stead? You're so skinny, I doubt anyone will notice you're not really a man. Ephraim. What do you suppose Leon is doing now? When Emperor Invergrande ordered the invasion, how do you think Leon felt? He's always been so gentle, but he worships his father. He never questions him. But the Emperor, he's clearly not behaving rationally. I just hope he's not so far gone that he'd hurt his own flesh and blood. I just pray for the day when the three of us can be together once again. It'll come, I've had no doubt. Erica Ephraim, welcome! The two of you return together, it's like a dream come true. You must know I've prayed every day for your safe return. I'm so happy to see you, Tana. I'm sorry, Tana. I didn't, I didn't want for you to worry. Oh, it doesn't matter now. All that really matters is that we've been brought together again. My own brother will soon return from the field. 
it will be nice to sit down and discuss things again. Princess Tana. Princess Ignis has returned. Ines has returned from the front. Welcome home, dear brother. I'm so happy to see you return safe and sound. You didn't express I am getting so tongue tied with all this reading. You didn't expect less, did you? Do you think grotto slugs could touch me? With my bow, I'll take down every grotto sojo from here to the Empire Ur's palace. Well met, Ines. Ephraim. It's good to see you, Prince Ines. They say Reness has fallen. I believe I warned you before. This happened because you provided Grotto the opportunity to strike. Brother, mind your tongue. This is no occasion for such harsh words. Ephraim and Erica have lost their father to this terrible war. I'm sorry to hear your father's death. Hear me, Ephraim. Our most important task is to defeat Grotto and end this war. Oh, Ines. I'm sorry, Erica, Ephraim. It's all right. It's comforting to see me that in all of this, at least he hasn't changed. Ines has hated me for as long as I can remember. My brother looks upon you as a rival, Ephraim. And as you know, he wants to become the very best at everything. The best king, the best general, the best fighter, the best man. He won't, um, he won't allow himself to be beaten at anything. Tana, you talk too much. My father would like both of you to sit with him in a war council. Will you come with me to take part or in your official audience? Yes, of course. There's much that I have to tell him. It will be an honor to attend. It does a hard to see you all here. Only here. You're safely within our castle walls. Oh my god, so much epilogue! <laughs> but then we have time for pleasantry and let us hear, hear your but let us hear your news. Very well, I will begin. I've directed the body of the Frey in Leah's army south to engage Grotto directly. Our troops are proving themselves superior and the battles are progressing favorably. Hmm. But the riddle still needs answering. Why did Grotto begin this war in the first place? Your Majesty, we may well have found something relating to that. We learned something on our travels, news that weighs heavily upon us. Ah, yes. Our messenger. Our messenger delivered your report to us a few days ago. Grotto was trying to destroy the sacred stones. Is that it? Yes. We strengthened the tower's defenses, for Leah's stone is safe for the time being. But we remain confused in this. What does Grotto hope to gain by destroying the sacred stones? We don't know. The legends say the stones protect us from the power of darkness. I can't say if it relates, but I have a story about Grotto. It's been troubling me, and I would like to share it with you all. Mirth? I- Myrith, I'm assuming? Who's this girl? On her back, wings. Ephraim, who is she? This is Myrith. I met her while fighting in the Grotto Territory. Myrith, would you please tell everyone the story you told me? Please, Ephraim, you tell them. She's a bit shy. Very well. Myra tells me that she belongs to an ancient race of dragon folk. They're mentioned in a few legends. They're called the tribe of the Manichae. Manichae? Yes. Their name appears several times in the tale of the Sacred Stone. It says that they were neither human nor demon, even, but separate, aloof, and freeze. Please, Mars. We live in the east, in the darkling woods. One day, 
Yes, we felt something. An ominous energy to the south. From the direction of Grotto, they felt a force flowing out of the Grotto Empire. Salith and I, we went to investigate this energy. But on our way, we came across a battle, and we were drawn into the conflict. Meredith got lost and was wandering aimlessly in an isolated region near Grotto, Grotto's border. I met some wicked folk there. They deceived me and enchained me. They stole my dragon stone. They were preparing me for transport. It was in that moment that Ephraim appeared and rescued me. I stumbled across Mirth by chance when Grotto's men almost had us had ambushed us. Yeah. Everything she told me seemed beyond belief, and yet, and yet when I saw her wings, what could I do but believe? This dark wave of energy, this dark wave of energy, still flows from the Southlands. Its current is strong and runs deep. deep. It has awakened the evil ones. I want it to stop. Your Majesty, I bring word. What is so urgent that you wouldn't interrupt a private council? The tower holding the sacred stone, Mona Freylia. It's been destroyed by the Grotto army. What? That's impossible. What are the soldiers on watch? Were they still? There were supposed to be many. The enemy forces. They were led by Kalach. The tiger, I, and Selena. You know, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last one. Our soldiers fell out before even half a day had passed. Selena. Only General will do a, a cell as high ire in Emperor Vigrade's esteem. She's the one. She came personally, so they really do wish to see the sacred stones destroyed. Blast. Just watching this happen. I forgot they're old school like cutscenes, I guess the closest thing they could be called. <gasps> Ah, oh, so this hunger rock is a sacred stone, eh? So much fuss over something as fragile as this. Watch. It crumbles so easily. Do we gain anything by this? Not that I care, but... Black-hearted fool, what have you done? Without the stone's protection, the horrors will spread. Huh? What's this? Still breathing, are you? Come, if you've any last words, I'll hear them. Full of Fredlia. You monster. You waste your last words on insults and feeble ones at that. Hardly the right note to enter the eternal awe. And wouldn't you say? Well then, die. Hold. What are you doing, Lane Kalach? Our job was to destroy the sacred stone. I know that, and I crushed it, did I not? But if we do not clean up these Freelian curs, they might, you do not raise your blade to anyone who is powerless to resist you. The Emperor does not desire us to kill ill without cause. That would be murder. Right, the Emperor. Your name's Selena, ain't it? Tell me, Selena, what makes that pasty-faced old fool word so important? Wretch, do you dare insult his imperial majesty? Hey, hey, I'm joking. Don't get worked up. I get it now. You're a true and loyal soldier. I'm leaving before Ferlia sends in ends enforcements. Reinforcements. Coming. How could this happen? How could I have allowed out our sacred stone to be destroyed? 
Dark energies from the cap emperor's ca it empire's capital. Evil monstrosities roaming our lands. Bergrade's mad vision invasion. Agent and now this. The destruction of our sacred talisman. And we have no idea of Grotto's goals. We are in the dark times once again. But even so, we cannot sit here wriggling our hands. First, we must warn the nation. Nations that the house. Else. That house the remaining sacred stones. If Regrade seeks to destroy the stones, they are all in grave danger. Johanna and Re Austin must be warned. The nations must join together to fight our common foe. Do you think they will believe us? Hmm. It is difficult to ill to believe, I must agree. I will go, Father. Enos? A direct visit from the Prince of Ferlia is not something they can ignore. I will travel to Jehana, where I will forge an alliance with her queen. If our sacred stone has been destroyed, then Ferlia could be in, da in greater danger. Father, I cannot let you leave the nation in such a time of crisis. It is imperative that I be the one to go. Hmm. And I will have for Rostam. Erga, you know I can't let you put yourself in such a danger. Rest easy, dear brother. I will journey to Rostam by ship across the North Sea. There will be no danger. Major, and I have made a vow. I will fight as you have until the day Rene is liberated. Liberated. Oh my god. I understand. King Hayden, I will take ink troops and march on the Imperial capital from the west. The West? Are you saying you will begin an assault on Grotto from here? If we take Grotto on O'Keefe, the war will be over. The sacred stones will be safe. If we start here and press forward with all our might, and once you've reached the capital, Vergrata's generals will be there waiting for you. If they oppose us, we will fight. You've got your father's foolhardy courage, didn't you? Don't you? Very well. I entrust all our hope to you three. Ines, you will go to Jehanna. Erica, you will go to Rostin. And Ephraim, the Imperial Capital. Funding you, you will have. But of soldiers, we have few to spare. For each of you, a difficult road awaits. If any of us meet east with the defeat, the battle will turn to Grotto's favor. There must be no errors. We must not fail. Where I command, there are no mistakes. I have no doubts. I'll succeed, I swear it. Come, it is time to go. Ooh. Farewell, brother. I will return. They just reunited. Granted, it's been like an hour of cutscenes and dialogue. Oh my god. The battle didn't take this long. To be honest, I still do not want you to go. I will rather you wait here for my return. Please, Ephraim. I will be fine. There's no need for you to worry. Mine is the easiest task, and I'll be in no danger. You will absolutely be in some danger. I'm betting pirates. I'm far more worried about your mission. Challenging the might of an empire with a handful of men. What's this now? Have you lost faith in me? No, of course not. I know your true strength, Ephraim. No one can defeat you. Hearing you say that fills me with confidence. I think I know my limitations. I won't overextend my reach. I cannot. I can't die and leave you on your own, can I? Ephraim. Let us both survive to be reunited. Give me your word, Erica. You have it, brother. Erica and Ephraim I'm, will now part weeks. Which of them will you accompany? Okay. So, I don't know which one I want to pick. So, I want to do it this way. Flip the coin. I don't have an actual coin, so... I'm gonna just... Do it digitally.
so we'll say ah, once I get it up and fortunately I don't think I can get this okay heads will be Erica tails will be Ephraim and it's heads uh, so it's cheating because you can't actually see it, but I swear I literally just slip search flip a coin Google and it ended up heads. Granted, I'd like to see it end up on okay, it ended up on tails once because I'd only seen it land on heads the past few times when I was getting it set up so I could actually see it. Make sure I don't lose my old tabs. And let's go. Okay. So, and we're gonna go with Erica. Which I spent the majority of my time with her, so it makes a little bit more sense. Kyler, are you gonna come with us? Please come with us, please. Is your part archer time near? Yes, Kyle Ford, I'm driving to Ruston. Ruston, I asked you to serve my brother well. Damn it! Actually, there's been a slight change of plans. We're going with you. Yes! Ah! Uh, oh, I need more badasses. And Kyle, you are like... Mm, it's you, Gilliam, and Seth. I need you. What? But... Prince Ephraim rides with Freylia... Leah's finest at his backs, and this was a personal order from the prince himself. He said, I don't need you loafing around here. Go keep Erica safe. Since when is battling all of the grotto uh, uh, loafing around, honestly? You're right, my brother's mission is far more dangerous than mine. I will go and speak with him. Prince Erica, Prince Ephraim said he's not concerned or for his own safety. These are the words of our prince Kate Avis, and we believe he means them. That's the truth of it. There's no cause for worry, Prince Erica. We can all attest to the prince's tenacity. No matter how close death comes, the pale horse will not catch him. Kyle, Ford, I understand. Thank you for your service and your bravery. You are my brother's most trusted and most valiant companions. I would be honored to have you ride at my side. The honor is ours. We ride for Renes and for Princess Erica. Let us not work ourselves into a frenzy right now. When the time comes, I will be there to handle things. Of course, I'm depending on both of you. Okay. So when I looked it up, I know the game splits. I'm not sure if you play as both, both but it listed it ended at 21. If you don't actually play as both quest lines, then I'm going to assume I'm going to be able to finish this a lot quicker than later. The Tower of Alani has appeared here to the east of Freylea on the world map. Once held by Grotta's troops, it has become the host of dark creatures. Battling with some monstrosity is a good way for units to gain strength. Try using the tower as a training area to gain extra experience. Once you clear the tower map, you'll have access to the next floor. Oh my god! I didn't even realize. I don't think I ever paid attention to this. This is. This reminds me of Awakening, where basically monsters would respawn in old areas. But this is like a training tower. <laughs> I didn't even know that was. 
I never probably paid attention to it before. I was just focused on getting to the next story beat. Oh, wow. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you next time.